Hot air in a physics lecture. Part A. A typical student listening attentively to a physics lecture has a heat output of 100 watts. How much heat energy does a class of 140 physics students release into a lecture hall over the course of a 50-minute lecture? Part B. Assume that all the heat energy in part A is transferred to the 3200 meter cube of air in the room. The air has specific heat 1020 joules per kilogram Kelvin and density 1.2 kilograms per meter cube. If none of the heat escapes and the air conditioning system is off, how much will the temperature of the air in the room rise during the 50 minute lecture part c if the class is taking an exam the heat output per student rises to 280 watts what is the temperature rise during 50 minutes in this case so we have to remember that power is the rate of energy flow p is equal to q the amount of heat provided in unit time Q divided by delta T, which is measured in joules per second that we define to be watts. So the total amount of heat released by the students will be the power of one student times delta T times the N number of students. So this will be the total uh, heat output of this class class of students all right so n capital n is number of students so if we calculate this uh, we have 100 watts of power output uh, we have 50 minutes 60 seconds of delta t and we have 140 students this gives us a total amount of heat, a mechanical equivalent, 4.2, 10 to 7 uh, joules. Uh, and we can convert the calories. One calorie is 4.186 joules. Or we can say Q is equal to 1.0 times 10 to 7 calories. So this is the answer to part a of the problem now in part b we want to know how much of a temperature rise this will result in the density of air is 1.20 kilograms per meter cube which is its mass per volume so we will find that the mass of the air inside the room will be volume multiplied by the density of air and the amount of heat that is supplied to the air will be mass times specific heat of air times the temperature change it will cause so delta t will be equal to q divided by um, mass is rho times v air volume of the air and multiplied by specific heat of the air so this will be the change in temperature uh, due to the heat provided by the students okay so we can calculate this delta t numerically we have 4.2 times 10 to 7 joules of heat this will be divided by density 1.2 volume of the air 3200 therefore we get the mass of air multiplied by specific heat 1020 joules per kilogram kelvins this gives us a delta t of 10.7 kelvin which is also equal to a delta t of 10.7 degrees celsius because delta tk is equal to delta tc now we have an exam and the power output increases the new amount of heat will be 280 watts per student 50 minutes 60 seconds is the time of the exam 140 students this gives us 1.176 10 to 8 joules 
Therefore, delta T will be 1.176 10 to 8 joules divided by 1.2 times 3200 times 1020 specific heat of air so we will obtain a delta t of 30 degrees celsius so you will notice that if the air conditioner is off a classroom full of this uh, with the same number of students will have a substantially higher uh, temperature rise uh, during an exam okay so we talked about hot air in a physics lecture uh, knowing that uh, a student listening uh, carefully to a physics lecture has a heat output of 100 watts with total number of physics students 140 in a lecture hall uh, where uh, the course takes 50 minutes so the lecture is total time lecture time is 50 minutes we can calculate uh, the total heat provided by the students because the power is q divided by delta t 100 watts in joules per second multiplied by number of seconds 50 minutes times 60 seconds times number of students gives us total heat output of the students which can be converted to calories uh, the delta T this will cause in the air, we need to know density of air and specific heat of air and um, the total volume of air in the room. So we all know uh, these uh, quantities. So Q is equal to MC delta T because there is no phase change. So delta T is Q divided by rho V air C air. Plugging in the numbers, we obtain 10.7 degrees Celsius temperature rise. For a... Uh, an exam we have 280 watts power output per student so instead of uh, putting here 100 we have to put 280 so we will see that uh, the um, temperature rise because it's proportional to Q here will be 2.8 times larger which is roughly 30 degrees Celsius